You guys are in the tri-state area and want great deals on watches, check out the Watch Boss. Alan, thanks for the hookup, bro. What's up, watch lovers? My name is John Jason. Welcome to Jersey Boys Reviews. Today we have on the table is the Rolex Explorer 2 stainless steel with a black face, reference number 216570. And I want to give a special shout out. He's not paying for the video, of course. I'm just telling you guys, if you guys are in the tri-state area and want great deals on watches, check out the Watch Boss. Alan, thanks for the hookup, bro. Uh, I bought this wrist check uh, from him. And I also bought this from him. So uh, these are my watches. He didn't give me these watches to review. Uh, what I'm wearing right now is a 36 millimeter uh, Royal Oak two-tone with the gray face. Uh, I'll show you guys some shots of it up close. And uh, let's get into it. Rolex predictions. It's common sense around the watch world that this watch is going to be updated. Uh, this started 2012, I believe. I could be wrong. And the 50th anniversary is coming up right now. Uh, Basel World is going to release it or somewhere else. I'm not sure what they're doing because of COVID. But I think September they're going to be making an upgrade to this. And I really don't think they're going to use the, the 42 millimeter case anymore. Do I love the 42 millimeter case? Yes, of course I do. I'll show you some wrist shots up close on it. This watch fits me fantastic. Uh, it's very comfortable and it's got weight to it and i like watches with a little bit of weight like this royal oak is weighs nothing it's so thin i love this watch alan remember watch boss staten island new york i forgot to say that so forgive me but staten island you guys look him up on uh instagram he's all over the place the watch boss uh, this explorer 2 fits so nice and why i love it with the black face a lot of you are going to say why did you buy the black face well, it's just so true to the, uh, the, the Steve McQueen, you know? The Steve McQueen watch is, uh, it's so beautiful with the orange hand. It's so 70s. It's so funky. And uh, it's the 50th anniversary. So uh, are they going to go away with the orange hand? Yes. I think this was a remake. And this was a not so hot of a remake. People uh, like the polar white. Um, I like the black face. That's why they make two of them. Everyone has their own opinions. I think the black looks uh, like the original. The white one, uh, I, I could afford this one. The white one is uh, right now a lot of money. I paid 8,500 bucks for this watch, which is I think a fantastic second hand, second hand market. Uh, 8,500 bucks, you can get a sports model from Rolex for this price with the super case. This is, you're getting, uh, you know, so many good things with this watch. You're getting the, the extension right here. It's an extra half a millimeter. So when your wrist gets swollen, it's right built in the band. You're getting a GMT movement with a hand. Uh, very, very useful. The GMT 24 hour on the bezel. Um, it's, it's, it's Rolex quality. You're dealing with the best. The band is silky smooth. It's. I think for eighty five hundred dollars, this is this is this is going to be really going unaffordable real soon. If they uh, discontinue this watch, you best believe me, this will be a thirteen fourteen thousand dollar watch real fast. And the white polar face one will be in the fifteens, maybe even higher, because they're going to discontinue it. And I think they're not even going to make the polar white anymore, which is going to make that watch even way up there. Uh, but maybe they will make the polar white. Who knows? I don't know. It's called a prediction. I don't know what they do. Maybe they just make this watch over again with a green hand. And that's it. And it'll look like a GMT Master too. That they discontinued. So they're going to put a ceramic. Model. From Rolex. For this price. With the super case. This is, you're getting, uh, you know, so many good things with this watch. You're getting the, the extension. Right here, it's an extra half a millimeter. So when your wrist gets swollen, it's right built in the band. You're getting a GMT movement with a hand. Uh, very, very useful. The GMT 24-hour on the bezel. Um, 
it's 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 Rolex quality. You're dealing with the best. The band is silky smooth. It's I think for eighty five hundred dollars, this is this is this is gonna be really going unaffordable real soon. If they uh, discontinue this watch, you best believe me. This will be a thirteen, fourteen thousand dollar watch real fast, and the white polar face one will be in the fifteens, maybe even higher, because they're gonna discontinue it, and I think they're not even gonna make the polar white anymore, which is gonna make that watch even way up there. Uh, but maybe they will make the polar white. Who knows? I don't know. It's called a prediction. I don't know what they do. Maybe they just make this watch over again with a green hand and that's it and it'll look like a gmt master too that they discontinued so they're gonna put a ceramic bezel and a green hand we saw that already so i doubt they're gonna do that but if they do that people are still gonna buy it and this is still gonna go up no matter what that's my prediction and my review on this watch of owning it fantastic watch if you guys are interested in a sports model rolex and you don't want the Submariner because you don't you see them everywhere you go, and you can't afford all the other ones. The Sky Dweller is twenty nine thousand for a blue face, and you're gonna have to pay twenty thousand on a stainless steel Sky Dweller, and it's, it's ridiculous. The prices are ridiculous. If you're on a waiting list and you get this watch, this watch is eighty two fifty, I think, on Rolex. I'm not sure. I'm guessing. Leave it in the comments if I mess up, but. Um, I only paid 85. That's great. And this watch is in good shape. It's got some scratches, but yeah, it never been polished. It I I love I think scratches tell stories on watches. You know, especially tool watches like this. If this was this watch, no way. I don't want no scratches on an AP. You know, if it was a day date solid gold, I don't want scratches on that. Just polish it, you know. This is this adds character to your watch. Scratches on a GMT, on a on an Explorer, on a Submariner, it's cool. It's a story. Um, if it's a brand new watch and you put a scratch on it, I'm not saying you don't, you can't repolish it. You, yes, you should. If you give fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars $16,000 on a stainless steel watch and you go to the pool and you hit it on the wall and it's all scratched on the side, that's not a sharp story. If it's only a couple of months old, polish the watch, make it look brand new again. But if, you know, this has some age on it now, I think this is like from maybe 2000, I don't know, 13, 14 I think this watch was from when I looked at the serial numbers. And, you know, it's getting there. Uh, but I really like this watch. And uh, you guys should buy this as an investment. If you guys do get them, if you could find them. Which, they're not that hard to find. But they're getting there. They're getting there. All steel Rolexes are hard to find right now. And especially this one. This is a little easier to find. But the Polar White is really hard to find. If you get your hands on that... Buy it and make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel, Jersey Boy Reviews. We're going to be doing this, all, everything like this, all kinds of stuff. We're going to do watches. We're going to try to do some cars. I got a couple of dealerships I'm calling. I'm trying to do a review on the new Corvette and stuff like that. We're just going to have fun with it. We made this channel just to, you know, do something besides stay home and eat all day. And now we get to stay home and make a review for you guys to watch and hit that like button. Make sure. See you till next time. See you till next time. I don't know what that means. Oh, well, I'll see you next time.